Welcome to Daniel's Inferno. My name is Daniel. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have a moment, please like, subscribe, share, and join the conversation below. I'd love to hear from you. So today's video, we are going to talk about uh, news about the virus that has been put out by a newspaper called the Epoch Times and uh, a CBC article or the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation um, that I have up for you to see right now. So, racist and inflammatory. Canadians upset by e Epoch Times claim that China behind virus made it as a bioweapon. So I'm sure throughout this whole quarantine, you've at some point probably heard the theory that the virus was made as um, a bioweapon or some sort of uh, agent that got out of a lab. Uh, the truth that we do know is the fact that there is a lab close to the market where the virus originated that works on biological agents. That's about it. That's the facts as we know them. Um, conspiracy theories are always fun, you know, but let's with this, it's more fact-based evidence is what we need. Um, so let's get into it. A special edition is delivered to homes to attract new subscribers. The Epoch Times, a free newspaper typically found in street boxes, is coming under fire for advancing a conspiracy theory about the origins of the virus and putting it straight into people's mailboxes unsolicited. Canadians who received it by mail in a postal carrier who says he is forced to deliver it <clears throat> are angry over a special eight-page edition of the paper exploring the idea that the virus uh, was created as a biological weapon and arguing it should be called the CCP virus, a reference to the Chinese Communist Party. People in Oakville, Etobicoke, Markham, and Toronto, Ontario all reported getting copies of a special edition of the Epoch Times, as did residents in North Vancouver and Kel Kelowna, BC, and Winnipeg. It's not clear that all those papers were delivered by Canada Post. Scientists have repeatedly said that evidence points to the virus having a natural origin. Uh, Jason Kindrakuk, uh, Canadian Research Chair in Emerging Viruses at the University of Manitoba, says that though studying the genome of the SARS virus, scientists can see it similar to other bat coronaviruses. Jason Kindrakuk a Canadian Research Chair in Emerging Viruses at the U of M, or University of Manitoba, says though the, that through studying the genome of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, scientists can see it similar to other bat viruses and that it likely evolved naturally. There is an unbelievably high consensus within the scientific community at this point that there is, there is a very close to zero, if not zero, chance that the virus was ever engineered. Armstrong was also worried that issue <clears throat> that issues anti-communist party messaging could inflame racial tensions in Canada during the pandemic. It really feels racist and inflammatory, Armstrong said. And right now we're all scared, we're all vulnerable, we all don't know what's going to happen next. Then somebody that starts playing on those fears is a dangerous thing to start doing at this time. So the issues went to specific neighborhoods. Uh, Cindy Gu, the publisher of the Epoch Times, declined to say how many copies of the issue were distributed. In an email to CBC News, she said the publication had been, deliver, uh, had been delivering copies to specific neighborhoods. Uh, we have recently been sampling copies of a special edition on Beijing's cover-up that led to a global pandemic in select areas because we consider that information to be important to Canadians. We regard this sampling as an act of good citizenship, she wrote. This is a standard way of raising brand awareness and recruiting new subscribers. She's not wrong with that statement. It is a standard way to raise brand awareness and recruit new subscribers just to, you know, give out some papers randomly to see if people like it or not. However, it's obviously the special edition of the paper itself that is causing the CBC to get so bristled. Um, I mean, I have the Epoch Times that we're going to get to in a moment here. 
So who is behind the Epoch Times? The Epoch Times, headquartered in New York, is part of a group of organizations under the Epoch Media Group umbrella, which also includes the Shen Yun Dance Troupe and the New Tang Dynasty TV channel. It says it operates in 23 languages and 35 countries. A sociology professor says the Epoch Media Group is affiliated with the Falun Gong movement, a religious group that began in China and was declared illegal and, quote, a cult by the Chinese government in 99. Its followers say the Chinese government persecutes them and oppresses their religious rights. Falun Gong followers started to organize large-scale protests against the Chinese government's attempt to suppress the practice. So it just evolved into this very antagonistic relationship between the Chinese government and this religious group, said a professor at Okanagan College who studies media outlets that serve the Chinese-Canadian diaspora. There are many stories about how group members were persecuted in China. There could be certain exaggerations, but there definitely is persecution and there are violations of human rights. All right, right, we're going to stop there. I will put the article URL down in the description uh, if you want more. There is more to it, like they're talking about, they end up talking about, as you see, a kernel of truth and how to spot misinformation and how the carrier objects to carrying the paper because it, he thinks it's all, it's too much. So anyone concerned with its content should contact the publisher, file a complaint against the publication through the appropriate institutions or place the item in the recycling box. That's a very fair comment by the Epoch Times to say, if people are unhappy, they can go ahead and file a complaint. Uh, we have a certain measure of freedoms in Canada here. I know it's not like the states where it's perfectly enshrined, but we do have freedoms here, believe it or not. And unless they did something that breaks a law, it's too bad, in my opinion, really. Uh, even if there is uh, speculation, even if it's a conspiracy theory, I mean, what's the saying that if you say something, like you say a hundred things, you, you know, you could be right one out of 99 times. And that's kind of how it is with conspiracy theories that you hear so many and then, you know, you find one that tries to legitimize the rest. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do here is legitimize a conspiracy theory. However, the theory exists. Um, it is interesting, if nothing else, during being quarantined to imagine that. Um, we do know for a fact that the Communist Party of China uh, does a lot of terrible things. I mean, the Uyghur Muslims uh, have been just totally uh, pummeled and destroyed by uh, the government. And it was the same with the Falun Gong movement from the research that I could find, at least. Um, they were really persecuted and many of them fled uh, to North America. So now we are going to take a little look here at the Epoch Times and their uh, clap back at CBC. It's, uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting, losing control of my mouse. Here we go. So, CBC intentionally excludes, quote, crucial facts about Epoch Times and our coverage of Beijing's cover-up of virus outbreak. So this is by uh, Cindy Gu. She is a publisher and a Canadian editor, and I believe, you know, she's fairly high up, if not like the head of the Epoch Times in Canada. So the Epoch Times recently published a special edition on how Beijing's cover-up of the virus outbreak in Wuhan led to the global pandemic with the front page headline, how the Chinese Communist Party endangered the world. It is an eight page collection of Epoch Times article distributed to selected areas in Canada as we believe it contains important information for Canadians to have. That's a bit of a stretch personally. I mean, I read you know, not the full eight page edition, but I read some of it. I wouldn't call it important information. Uh, I would call it speculation and theory. Uh, important information are facts and facts have evidence. Facts are backed by science. Um, you know, what they have are claims and they have every right to speak their claims in a manner that uh, follows the law. However, 
they are really stretching to say it's important information for Canadians to have. So, you know, they talk about the CBC article that was published. Uh, there's a copy of their email to the CBC reporter uh, prior to the publication at the end of the article. Um, apparently, most comments on the CBC article are critical of it. At the end of this article, we included some of the comments. Uh, as you can see on the side, there you can see some of the comments there. The headline CBC gave the article seems to speak for all Canadians in saying racist and inflammatory. Um, how does CBC know how the majority of Canadians feel about our coverage? And that's fair. The article quotes an individual who feels our coverage of the CCP's responsibility for the virus pandemic is racist and inflammatory. Is that an individual opinion or a source of a headline speaking for all Canadians? Uh, it focuses on a small part of the eight-page special edition, a commentary article that discusses the history of the top CCP officials talking about developing bioweapons. Uh, but this opinion article did not state that the lab was developing bioweapons, contrary to the claim in the headline. Um, making the truth about the CCP's role clear will also help eliminate racial tensions, apparently. Um, you know, there's a lot of, th a lot of this is opinion. Again, this is very opinionated. Um, I'm not all that interested in the Epoch Times opinion on this because again, it makes claims that are far out there instead of sticking to factual statements. Um, you know, if this was all about defending the religious freedoms of the Falun Gong, then that's, that's one thing. But it's another thing to just make these claims that have no basis in reality yet, or maybe ever. So, as usual, we are going to look at how the Twitter mob feel, because their opinion is important, folks. We wouldn't be able to get anywhere without them. Twitter is the soul of our community. It really is. CBC smearing the Epoch Times with Chinese communist propaganda is just another reason to defund CBC. I like the Epoch Times. The CBC's coverage of the Epoch Times article was similar in tone to a recent statement by the Chinese embassy. That's interesting. Liberal Canadians are upset with the Epoch Times, which is critical of Trudeau's favorite government. <laughs> That's ironic, and it's true. Um, the Canadian Liberal Party, especially under Trudeau, has major ties to the Communist Party of China. Uh, I remember it was like weeks before the election, maybe even days before the 2019 election, and they held a fundraiser uh, that included delegates of the Communist government. So you can't say that they're not you know, chummy, at the very least. The Epoch Times is owned by John Tang. So according to the CBC, the Chinese are racist against the Chinese. Our national broadcaster does not want Canadians criticizing China. Okay. A CBC, the CBC implied that the Epoch Times exclusive report was racist and inflammatory. The Chinese communist regime has been accused of conflating legitimate criticism with accusations of racism in an effort to divert attention from their cover-up. We know already that we are getting false facts from the Chinese government. We know that the WHO, which Canada's top health official, has only echoed the WHO's sentiments. I mean, there was a point when the WHO said basically that those M M95 masks will not protect you from the virus. And I remember family members of mine, and one family member of mine works on machinery that works with various diseases and viruses, you know, the different machines that move it around and test it and everything else. He worked on those machines. So he has some familiarity with these things. I wouldn't say he's an expert, obviously, but he has a familiarity. And 
he looked at his wife and said, they, you know, they said to each other, this is strange. Like, that doesn't make sense. You know, we know for a fact that the WHO uh, did not want to talk about Taiwan and their exclusion from the conversation. Um, you know, it's kind of the same thing we've seen with in Disney movies. In some Disney movies, they've had to go to the censors and then they've had little edits, nothing huge. But the biggest example I can think of at the moment is, I don't remember the movie, but there was a picture of the Pacific Sea and then there were a bunch of like red arrows and lines around the territory that China claims is theirs or the part that they claim is theirs, although internationally that's not recognized. I mean, are we seeing the same thing happen with our national broadcaster or is our national broadcaster simply putting out uh, a concern because it would be a lie to say that there haven't been at least some people who have conflated the virus with Chinese people and have done horrible, probably horrible things to these people or picked on them, bullied them, et cetera, et cetera, because of this conflation. So I'm not saying that doesn't happen, obviously, but is it to go as far as to say that criticizing or exploring a theory is racist and inflammatory? I mean, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't have thought the article the Epoch Times put out was racist. It was a bit out there. You know, it didn't have a lot of basis in factual evidence, like I've said, but I wouldn't say it was racist. I mean, the Falun Gong movement itself is a movement that started in China. So what, they're racist against themselves? You know, what are they, self-deprecating Asians now? That, does, that doesn't follow to me. I'm sorry, it doesn't. So why did Canada Post help the Epoch Times to distribute such news among our communities during the unprecedented time? Why are you so racist? What is wrong with you people, Epoch Times? Our publication by ethics, Chinese, Americans, and Canadians. I, that English was awful. You know that they say any publicity is good publicity. publicity. Here is a response from... Yeah, that was, that was the response that we went over. Great response from Epoch Times. The CBC has devolved into a useless propaganda machine. I've been reading the Epoch Times for years. IMO, it pushes both pro and anti-CCP positions. Now, why would that be? Time to do your homework properly. What is going on at... So this is what she retweeted. What's going on at CBC? Not one, but three stories today telling Canadians it's racist to criticize the Communist Party, which is Bethune-level CCP propaganda. One more tweet. Cindy Gu put this out. The CBC published an article devoted to the special edition that is definitely misleading and intentionally excludes crucial information the sole, per, uh, the sole purpose seems to discredit the Epoch Times. We talked about that already. Okay, this one's the last tweet then. The CBC ombudsman needs to deal with this. Should result, should result is not just an apology to the Epoch Times, but to the Canadian public. The three CBC journalists and any producers involved would benefit by being made to attend workshops in what racism is. I have to agree with that. I mean, again, I I didn't see racism at all. I, I just saw a lot of out there thoughts, a lot of things that, again, were theories, were explorations of things. Um, was it anti-communist party? Yeah, okay, it probably was. So there, you know, you must take that bias into account when you're reading. But when you're reading any news outlet, you should have at least a base idea of what their leaning is on the political spectrum. So you can garner for yourself that kernel of truth that they were talking about in the CBC article. Because there are always kernels of truth throughout these articles. And it's up to the reader to analyze and find these kernels and put them together and then find the truth for themselves. Please tell me what you think. 
was the article racist or was it simply uh, speculation and theorizing? Uh, was it too far for the CBC to say that it was racist and inflammatory? Or is that an accurate categorization of what's happened? Personally, no, I don't think it is. Um, but again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're staying safe. I'm Daniels Inferno.